uh, in this uh, video uh, i'm going to explain about the uh, parallel path in the simulation now uh, whenever we talk about the types of winding okay types of winding uh, we have lap winding and the wave winding we used to say that the parallel path the current path for that lap winding is equal to the uh, number of poles times the multiplexity so if it is simplex so it will m will be one and if it's duplex your m will be equal to two and if it is triplex then m will be equal to two, uh, three and it, it goes on so in case of the lap winding your parallel path a is equal to m times the number of poles and then when it comes to the wave winding your a is equal to uh, two now how we get that a is equal to two and a is equal to m times multi uh, multi uh, like multiplication factor m times number of poles how we uh, we get this so in this video i'm going to explain in detail so let's consider about the uh, lab winding uh, this machine which is done as a lab winding now the number of poles given in that machine is four two north pole and two south pole and the pole pitch is eight divided by four so eight is the number of armature slot total number of armature slot is equal to eight and number of poles is four so your uh, pole pitch is two armature slots per pole and then now let's start with the uh, commutator segment one so windings are already done uh, because uh, if i do in this video it will take a lot of time so i have done uh, beforehand and it starts from the uh, winding uh, the armature section one here and uh, not armature section that commutator uh, uh, section one segment one and it goes from here okay and then it crosses the uh, i mean it enters through the next uh, arm, uh, commutator section and ends at two and since we are talking about the lab winding our next conductor okay our next conductor should uh, start from the the where that first conductor has been end so that is from the commutator number two and then again it goes from here and then ends at the next commutator section three and then again uh, from three uh, from the three uh, again we have another uh, conductor it again pass through this and then ends at the five now in order to uh, like you must be wondering why i'm covering for example when i start from one and then ending at three why i am taking this actually this depends upon the uh, our pitch like we uh, in the previous video i have uh, discussed about the pitch like a pole pitch then we have uh, front pitch we have back pitch then we have commutator pitch commutator pitch and we also uh, we have discussed about the coil pitch or the coil spin so these things can be uh, calculated from this okay but in this i have taken randomly but you should maintain the uniformity for example if i if i take this back pitch okay for this from here for this conductor i'm taking it from one and then ending at a three so when i take like this for other coils also i have to maintain the uniformity okay so in this that um, the back pitch means if if i want to measure between these two oh uh, then it's like uh, three minus one so it is two okay just the back pitch and then when it uh, like uh, now uh, if you want to measure the uh, coil pitch then next conductor is green so it's starting from here from the commutator pitch two commutator section uh, segment two and passing through the uh, armature slot two and then ending from four so in 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 that case okay in that case your uh, your that uh, coil pitch okay coil pitch will be called to uh, two minus one so it's equal to uh, y will be equal to one okay and then here i'm doing the progressive winding it is plus one so this is how we have to uh, calculate the uh, pitch uh, coil pitch and okay let's not forget our main uh, tasks in this video now how to find the uh, the number of parallel path in case of the lap winding now if we simplify this one if we simplify this winding and uh, replace with the uh, equivalent circuit so this is how i can uh, draw so you have four number of wind i mean eight numbers of winding each winding i have represented it as a l uh, l1 l2 till l8 and then now since it has uh, four uh, poles four poles so we can uh, expect uh, four numbers of the brush okay two positive and two 
negative okay two positive uh, brush and uh, two for the negative uh, terminals now this current directions okay here current directions uh, are taken based upon the uh, Fleming's uh, right hand rule okay you should understand uh, that uh, the application of the Fleming's right hand rule is for the generators uh, induce emf current okay in order to in, uh, in order to um, take the direction of the induced emf current so we should use the Fleming's uh, right hand rule now this one that uh, this uh, again uh, this circuit here wherever that current enters i'm uh, uh, writing uh, with i'm drawing with the red arrow so wherever the current enters uh, to the brush it is taken as the positive and then when it, wherever the current uh, leaves from that brush i'm taking it as a negative so at the uh, uh, that uh, winding one and two the brush is taken as positive and at uh, that uh, winding three and four the brush is taken as negative then positive and negative i'm taking it alternatively and then then if you group this one so these negative sections can be connected together and take out as one negative terminal and then similarly okay that uh, positive sections these positive sections can be connected together and taken out as one positive terminal so if we simplify that circuit diagram now is something like this here you have two brush okay brush number one and brush number three as a positive and uh, we have again uh, brush number uh, two and four okay two and four as a negative terminal so this is negative and this one is positive and then okay now let's see between brush okay brush one and two between brush one and two we have uh, okay we have uh, how many okay uh, windings two windings that are winding l2 and l3 so i will do with the different color here and that one okay and this one is winding l2 and l3 okay two and uh two and okay uh two and three are in that okay and after that again uh five okay this one is uh, the uh, winding five and four again here it is connected at this l5 and l4 and we also have again at the one we have two terminals again uh, this one l1 and l8 so from here also we can also take to this okay this one is not uh, to the eight but it is to four okay mm. from here and then it is connected to four okay so you have l1 l8 and we have seven and six which is connected between four and uh, three so we have mm, four and three four and three is not four and three no okay four and three yes uh, mm, i think we have done little mistake uh, somewhere uh, mm, no this one okay i will redo i will redo the circuit uh, okay uh okay we have uh, here the positive terminal and the negative terminal and then we should have uh, total number of brush at the positive side should be four total number of the brush at the negative side should be also four uh, now why we are taking eight numbers because i'm simply splitting this uh, this uh, four brush the reason is at this brush number one at this brush number one two terminals are connected so i can split this one so for l1 and l2 now if this is brush number one brush number one now let's consider with the l8 okay l1 and l8 so we can do the circuit diagram this one is l1 and l8 l8 is connected at brush number four is negative terminal and again at the brush number one we have terminal l2 and l3 l2 and l3 so it's ended at brush number 
2 and then at brush number 3 is again positive this one is 3 okay now t now we are talking about this and this is started from the brush number three l5 l4 and it's ending at brush number two and here it should it should be brush number four so between four and three we have the winding l6 and l7 now looking at this okay looking at this you will see that uh, the number of poles in the machine is four that we are discussing and then the the current carrying the parallel path we have one path here we have second path third path and fourth path so because of this reason your a is equal to number of p which is equal to four in this case now this one is uh, solely for the uh, simplex winding simplex winding so if it is duplex again uh, you will have more number of conductors now for that one uh, you will have uh, you will have like uh, two, uh, two times four is equal to eight uh, eight numbers of uh, parallel path okay now this one again uh, that winding uh, the nature of winding will again uh, depend uh, okay now for this i'm talking about the simplex winding so your number of parallel path is equal to four which is equal to four in this case so that's it and then in the next video i'm going to explain about the uh, number of parallel path in the web winding.